In this video, I will show you how you can update two Palo Alto firewalls configured as an HA pair. Of course, you can use the principles here to upgrade standalone firewalls too. There are a few quick things you need to do before beginning your upgrade. First, make sure you've got your licensing in order. You'll need that to update. Now select the version you want to upgrade to. I recommend a .1 release like 8.1 or 9.1. These are long-term releases that will be supported the longest. Also check out the end of life announcements to make sure the version you want to use is still supported. I'll put a link for that in the description. Don't forget to read the release notes for the version you select too. Make sure you understand if it will change anything in your environment. And finally, check the upgrade path. Palo Alto requires that you go through all the major versions. If you have 8.0 for example, you would need to go to 8.1, then 9.0, then 9.1. And always update to the base release of each major version first. That is 8.1.0, 9.0.0 and so on. Okay, that's enough planning. Let's get started. Step 1. We need to check that the applications and threats are up to date. This is really simple. Go to Device, then Dynamic Updates, click Check Now. If there are any updates, download them and sync the update to the peer. Some of these processes are a bit slow, so I'm speeding some up to save time. Once that's done, install the update on the local firewall and the peer. We repeat this process to update wildfire as well. Step 2. We need to protect ourselves by taking a backup. This is under Device. Setup and Operations. I'm exporting a named configuration snapshot and selecting Running Config. If something goes wrong, we can just import this file again. Step 3 is where HA gets involved. We need to disable preemption to stop the HA pair from trying to fail back automatically after they reboot. You might have seen this in the last video when we configured HA. Step 4 is to actually install the update. The plan is to update the passive node first and reboot it. We then make it active and repeat the process on the other firewall. To do this, we'll go to Device, then Software. This may pop up an error saying that there's no information available, but we're fine with that. This is a new firewall which hasn't been updated before. Next, we click Check Now to see what updates are available. I want to update to the latest release in 9.1, so I will first need to download the base release 9.1.0. Notice that the base file is larger than the ones after it. It contains the full pan OS, which is why it needs to be installed first. Once it's finished downloading, we can install it. When that's done, we restart the device. I'll skip past this of course, so you don't have to wait. When that's finished, we can log in, and we get this message which confirms the update is complete. We can also see the version in our dashboard widget. We'll now connect to the active firewall and fail over the active role. This is in Device, High Availability, Operational Commands. We then click Suspend Local Device. Once that's done, we can run the update like we did before. I'll speed this up too. Now we can check the version and see that it's running 9.1.0. We're getting closer, but we're not there yet. I'm going to update to the latest version in 9.1, which is 9.1.2-h1. This is the same process as before. Update the secondary, reboot, fail over, update the remaining firewall, and reboot it. You've already seen this, so I'm going to skip past all of that. Now you can see that it's complete. Just a couple of little tasks to finish up with. We go back to the HA settings, 
enable preemption, and commit. We also need to restore the HA pair to the correct state. For this, you can connect to the CLI and run the request high availability state functional command. That's how you update a Palo Alto Firewall HA pair. I hope you found this useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below.